Hello Aries and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy that you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading for July 1st to July 7th. Uh, I will be concentrating on your incoming energies. We'll be doing some tarot cards to clarify. We'll get some angel messages and then we're going to complete the reading with your angel number. I'd like to say to all my Canadian friends, happy July 1st. And for my beautiful American friends, happy July 4th. It's a very celebra celebratory week. So lots of good happiness coming into play for this beautiful first week of July. Please keep in mind, this is general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Even if you only find parts of it resonate, please let me know. I appreciate it. But if it isn't resonating, please also check out your rising and moon sign. Now, I've already meditated and prepared the cards for this reading, but I do want to cleanse the space together, and we're going to do that with the bell. So you're going to hear a loud bell sound now. All right, Aries, let's get right into your reading. Let's find out what the energies are that are surrounding you as we move through the first week of July. All right, spirit, angels, guides, the beautiful sign Aries. What are the energies surrounding Aries? Anything else? All right. And at the bottom of the deck, number five, events, travel. So you might be traveling. Maybe you've been traveling a little bit more than, than usual. Um, it looks as if you're really gaining a lot of insight here. So number four, people with a teacher. Either somebody's been really teaching you something or you've really been uh, gaining a lot more knowledge. And it could be world knowledge with this travel that you're doing. And, you know, you're really being, you're really in touch with your higher self at this time, Aries. Again, number two, spirit, you know, feeling again, your intuition um, is really helping again to teach you new things. I think you're learning something new about your own spirituality, but I believe that travel has been something that's been, you know, you have been embarking on that a little bit more lately, um, whether it's travel for work or travel for um, pleasure. So let's get right into your energies and find out what's happening here. So number seven, people, professional assistance. So it looks as if you're getting some advice or you are getting some, some sort of professional assistance is coming your way to really help you with whether it's a contract, uh, an agreement, or even just gaining more insight and knowledge. Again, that comes with that teacher energy as well. So I really feel you're on the... You know, you're really, again, you're really gaining a lot of information as we move through this first week. Number one, energy, courage. It looks as if there is a new path that's lighting up for you and you have the courage to kind of embark on something now. So we'll find out more with the tarot cards. And then you got number seven, consciousness, and it's victim mentality. You're feeling a little bit of an emotional loss here. You're feeling like time is standing still and you're feeling as if you're kind of stuck in an energy and you're trying to figure out how do you release yourself from this. Um, you know, I think it's it's sometimes uh, sometimes we become a victim of our own thoughts and, you know, it's really important for us to try and try and maintain positive thoughts, but it's not always easy, especially when life throws us curveballs. And if you've been going through any sort of curveballs in your life, I think this is why this victim mentality is coming up. But I believe that you're going to see that come to a close. But let's do that with, um, let's do that now with the tarot cards. All right. Look at that Ace of Swords. I'm going to take it because you know what? That is beautiful energy. That Ace of Swords is just reiterating that there's a victory coming into play here for you. And I believe that's because you are receiving professional assistance. Somebody is giving you insight and giving you uh, knowledge on something. And it's really helping you feel like you are getting this sort of breakthrough. All right. So let's see. All right. What did we get here? So you've got the breakthrough here. You've got the victory. You've got the two of wands as well. See, as you can see, the gate is opening here and you can see the tree of stability. It's like you are, twos can sometimes be choice. They can be decisions. It, be, it can be you really trying to um, facilitate a plan. You're working out some sort of plan or strategy because you want to take action and move forward, but it's really going to require some professional assistance and some breakthrough moments. 
um, for you to feel that sense of freedom. You know, you can even see the eagle here. This is really, this breakthrough is really giving you that sense of feeling a, a, a sense of freedom. So if there was anything that was kind of leading up uh, to this week, if anything was sort of, you were waiting for some loose ends to kind of clear up, I think you might be feeling a little bit of victory as you move through the first week of July. But again, you're really starting to put your plan together and you're able to do that because again, you've got the information that's needed. Now, it looks as if with the Knight of Coins that you, um, Knights are all about action now. The Knight of Coins is the slowest moving Knight, <clears throat> but he's slow and steady. He's not trying to win a race because the race, he knows that what the end game is. He knows that he is putting all of his, his, all of his hard work and all of his ambitions into something that he really feels is going to be prosperous. And that's exactly what you're doing. And I think you might be doing a little bit more travel because you again are gaining all of this insight. There's a lot of movement. If it's not travel as in like actually packing your bags and travel, it's movement, movement forward. And I really think it's because you have decided that you are going to invest your energy, your time, into a job, into something that is going to really build you a lot of success. It's something you've been planning. So, I mean, this isn't something that's coming out unexpectedly. The Knight of Coins is is really uh, is someone who is putting a lot of hard work into something that they believe is going to bring them a lot of prosperity. And I believe that that's what's coming into play for you. And I believe you're not doing it alone. I believe that you are acquiring some... Um, some assistance and that assistance is what's really helping as well those cars wanted to fall out and i am going to read them but i'm going to see if there's anything else as well let's see that might be it because they just all kind of fell out in unison together for you aries and that is exactly and they are beautiful energies now you've got two eights here and i'm going to start with the eight of pentacles because as we're talking about this knight of coins who really doesn't mind taking time to Build something strong. Build the foundation strong. The Eight of Pentacles is all that hard work that you put into it. You are a master at what you do and people recognize this in you. This is why I think a lot of people really want you. Um, I think they're attracted to this part of you. Um, I think this is why you're feeling a sense of victory too because now you can really put your plans into action because that hard work is starting to pay off. You're starting to really formulate something new here that is really, again, um, bringing you, um, bringing you, you know, like an eight of pentacles is really all about you gaining even more knowledge. Again, with that teacher there, the teacher, and then again with the professional assistants, and the Eight of Pentacles, it's like you are gaining so much more knowledge that it's just you, nobody can beat beat you with the, the amount of confidence that you have in, in, and your ability to produce tangible results with something. Like you are absolutely incredible. And the Eight of Wands, another eight here. So remember, eight, very powerful number for you. Um, this is all about messages. So there's a multitude of messages coming in for you during the course of this first week. And I believe they're all going to be very positive messages and they're all leading you towards your final destination here, which is of course leading you down that road of um, stability and success. The Eight of Wands is fast paced movement. So I think you're going to see things moving along quite quickly during the course of this week. And then to finish off this grouping that just fell out is the Six of Wands, which is all about victory and success. You've got two victories here with this professional assistance. So <clears throat> that Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands, you know what? I want you to really feel like, look, you're standing here. The spotlight is on you. It's your time to shine. Take the win. Don't let pride stand in your way. Take the win because it's a well-deserved win. It's an achievement and an accomplishment that's well-deserved. And you can see your hands are up in the air just like a victory. So you are receiving a sense of victory. And I believe messages and movement are all going to be part of that. So let's get into why you got courage. Again, how could you not be courageous to go down a new path, especially when you feel this sense of success? So let's find out with courage. You could just get one or two cards, please. One or two cards for Aries, please. All right, the three cards. All right, page of coins. So this is this is the message that's coming that's helping you to make the decision to walk straight towards that light down that path. All the fireflies are out in the sky and they're leading you towards success. And there's a message that's coming to, to really, again, um, really 
bring this this to light um, because again you've got with that eight of wands a multitude of messages and movement coming forward well now this is something to do with money i believe that this is a message that's coming that's going to really again um, help you um, to decide what direction you want to go financially now number seven Vic, uh, seven uh, chariot this is a cancer card so this is just reiterating that we are in cancer season so july is going to be a very successful month for you it's your in intuition is is heightened at this time meaning that there's decisions that you may be faced with but you are going to intuitively know exactly what direction you need to go some of you you could have acquired a new vehicle as well sometimes with the chariot it is about you know maybe because you're traveling so much maybe you're getting a new vehicle maybe uh maybe there's benefits coming to you in the sense of some sort of new ride um, but also too you've got three victory cards okay so chariot is a sense of victory all right moving down that new path that's lit up for you because you know exactly the direction you need to go the ace of swords is a victory the six of wands is a victory so everything has a, a victory to it here and then you also got number six of cups and i believe it has something to do with the past so whether or not somebody from your past is coming into play, maybe that's the person that's bringing you a beautiful message that is going to really help you um, secure some sort of finances for your future. Um, it's remembering the past in a very delightful and joyful way, maybe, maybe releasing a little bit of your inner child so that you can bring love and happiness and romance and everything back into your life as well. Not everything has to be focused on work sometimes we have to bring that inner child back in to realize that in the midst of everything that's happening in our lives that we have to bring joy in there as well so now let's get your corresponding card for that let's find out if there is a clarifier so page of coins seven chariot and six of uh, six of cups lovely energies here for you aries all right Something is suddenly changing for you. Ah, yes. Wow. Okay. Wow. You got, you got some major, major cards here. <clears throat> okay. So there is a message coming. You are moving in a new direction. And the reason you're moving in a direct new direction is you got number 16, the tower. And that's all about transformations. The universe is sending you a sudden change because something is coming into play that is going to really bring you down a, a new path. This new path, you are full of courage. You're full of protection. You're full of... You're full of energy. It's, this is something that you are um, welcoming in your life. This change is something you really are welcoming. The King of Pentacles, again, no gender in any of the cards. This is very much earth energy. And again, this goes along with that Knight of Coins that you had right in the beginning here. All right, but the King, the King is so much more mature. The King is really where we all aspire to be because they're the leaders they're the ones that are the most settled you know you're you have paid your dues you know exactly where it is where you want to be the king of pentacles has worked very hard and ambitiously to get where he wants to be and i believe that sudden changes are coming into play and i think it's bringing in a whole new role for you that is going to provide so much more stability for you you may have been feeling a little bit like you've been waiting for breakthroughs because the, your plans have been kind of changing and changing well now that plan is actually being put into action movement is coming into play and there's victory here this king of pentacles is here because it's time for um, you to realize that you are leading you are the leader and you are in control of everything that's coming into play for you they want you to reiterate the knight of pentacles the knight of coins and the knight of pentacles is exactly the same card so again you are investing into something for your long term that is going to produce you a lot of financial rewards big changes are coming your way and then you get number 10 the wheel oh my goodness this is a beautiful reading aries the wheel the wheel is turning in your favor now chapters are closing cycles are showing changing any any confusion any um conflicts or any challenges are coming to a close and now good look good luck and expansion are coming your way you are closing out a cycle with the 10 and you're bringing in a new beginning with the one so watch for cycles coming in to change like watch for changing cycles um and everything in a very prosperous way all right so now let's do this Victim mentality. Let's find out why you are feeling this way. It's all in your head. 
then you got the six of coins. Interesting. And the victim mentality could be that you're so desperately trying to create financial balance in your life and it becomes, it gets to a point sometimes where it's just where you're, you, you just want to shake your head because you're trying to find the waterfall. You're trying to find this, um, you're, you're find, trying to find emotional balance. You're trying to find, um, you know, um, financial balance and sometimes it just becomes a little too overwhelming you're reflecting on a lot of things that have happened in your life because sevens are all about reflection all right and you're thinking about oh my goodness you know how how come time seems to stand till i uh, stand still i really need information to help change this dynamic you know i need movement and i believe that balance is definitely coming into play for you and i think that you are going to start to see that because that cycle you know that wheel is turning that that tower the 16 which is the tower that is a much needed release it's a much needed change so that you're breaking the chains of the cycles that you've been going down so that now you're no longer seeing time stand still but you're now facilitating all this fast forward movement that is going to bring you financial rewards so let's get a clarifier for the six of coins please okay we got a flipper let's see what that flipper is that's the one and queen of wands very interesting so queen of wands again no gender with any of the cards but queen of wands is definitely leo sagittarius or aries energy queens are nurturing but queens are determined and you are determined you are not going to sit and wallow any in any type of victim mentality you are ready to move forward to create the abundance in your life that you that you want you facilitate this by the movement and the actions that you take by the plans that you make for your life you are not afraid to travel the distance you're not afraid to gain the knowledge and you accept this with grace and kindness and you are a very passionate person so people are very drawn to your personality and uh, this is what makes you so successful and i believe that's why the queen of wands came up here to reiterate that you have all of the, the traits needed to push yourself forward to not wallow in any sort of victim mentality and to create the balance that you need in your life it's all coming into play for you because the scales are changing change is a happening and it's a happening july 1st to july 7th aries beautiful energy all right let's get your angel message let's find out what your angels would like to share with you and that's what they want to share with you let's see what this beautiful card is oh my goodness okay that's number six celebrations six of wands victory you're celebrating something here this is going to be a week where you're going to feel like everything is far, finally starting to align good news is on the way to bring joy back into your life this is what you have been waiting that champagne moment where you can pop the cork and you can start to feel a sense of peace and a sense of of love and you are definitely celebrating some sort of a win here. And the reason you are getting this card is because the universe wants to let you know that positive changes are taking place and it's time to celebrate. Have you been waiting to hear some good news for, uh, or for a special occasion to arrive? Could be a birthday, an engagement, a wedding. It could be about a move to a new job, a pay raise. Um, you know, have you been hoping that your current life situation will improve and be healed or that you will meet the love of your life? This is going to be, you know, celebrations are on so many different levels. So it will resonate differently with each of you. This is the universe wanting you to know that all of the patience that you have had are paying off. And now it's time to celebrate in a happy and positive way an uplifting manner absolutely beautiful oh if only i could be an aries right now i would totally welcome that all right beautiful aries this is this is probably one of the nicest readings i've done for you in a while wow okay and this just wanted to fall out number 29 so again keep the keeps keep number six in mind uh for positivity as well um because i i believe you got three sixes here you know you got um the six actually you've got four sixes all right six of wands six of cups six of pentacles and then celebration sixes so six very very important so july 6th might be a very um very communicative day for you as well and keep in mind july 5th with the new moon in cancer that's the time <clears throat> to set your intentions 
And those intentions, you know, are planting the seeds. It's, it's planting the seeds for something new. It's a chance to start again. It's aligning with our home, our family, and our emotional foundations. So keep in mind that date as well. Number 29, you are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. And you need to say that to yourself. You are very insightful. All right, number 29. So number six is any combinations of six and the number 29 are going to be your angel numbers for this week. Thank you so much, Aries, for joining me today. I hope that you found that parts of this message relate to you. And if they do, even if it's just parts of it, please let me know because I do love to read your comments. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next week, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.